At 2.51 a.m. on July 15, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, will launch its Chandrayaan-2 mission onboard a GSLV MK3 rocket from its spaceport in Sriharikota. The rocket will place its payload, the orbiter, in a highly elliptical orbit around Earth. Over the next 16 days, the orbiter will raise its orbit in five steps by firing its thrusters. After that, it will perform an injection burn and travel towards the moon for about a week before entering into an elliptical orbit there. Then, the orbiter will lower its altitude in multiple steps and then deploy a lander named Vikram. The lander will descend over the lunar surface and touch down on September 6th or 7th this year. Once ISRO scientists have performed basic health checks to see if everything is okay, Vikram will release a rover named Prakyan onto the lunar soil. This will be the exciting start of Chandrayaan-2, India's most ambitious space mission to date. Prakyan will spend two weeks on the moon collecting scientific data about different characteristics of the natural satellite, after which its batteries will die. If Chandrayaan-2 is successful, it will have placed the first Indian rover on the moon's surface. The mission has a total of 13 Indian instruments, 8 on the orbiter, 3 on the lander and 2 on the rover. NASA is providing a 14th instrument, a passive retro reflector that will be installed on the setup. The mission will also signal India's first big stride towards the moon, paralleling that of other countries. The US, Europe and China all envision the moon as a pit stop between Earth and Mars and hope to build permanent stations on the body. Indian officials have expressed similar hopes. Such missions are bound to be extremely sophisticated and extremely expensive. Chandrayaan-2 cost India Rs 978 crore, Rs 603 crore for the mission and Rs 375 crore for the launch. It is India's most complex robotic mission till date. At a recent press conference, K. Sivan, the ISRO chairman, acknowledged contributions from industry and academia to the tune of 67% of the total cost. ISRO launched its first moon mission, Chandrayaan-1, in October 2008. Chandrayaan-1 carried five Indian payloads and six foreign payloads. Of them, ISRO's MIP instrument and NASA's M3 instrument both detected the presence of water molecules in the lunar soil. Chandrayaan-2 will study the chemical composition of the lunar surface, its thermal characteristics, surface plasma, distribution of minerals, the lunar exosphere, quakes on the moon, among other things.